Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shukuna and I'm here to guide you on your creative journey. And wherever you are on that journey, on that path, you're right where you need to be. And I want to keep you going. And today I want to show you um, my sketchbook. This sketchbook I filled um, in about a month and uh, I finished it not so long ago. So it's time for a sketchbook tour. Don't you think? All right, here it is. As you can see, I love stickers and I think a sketchbook is a fantastic way or a fantastic excuse to collect stickers as if you're a little kid. Always put your name and your contact uh, number and stuff in uh, the beginning of your sketchbook because you never know if you go on location and you might lose it. I know uh, about people who lost their sketchbooks and got it returned thanks to putting their uh, name in there and their contact details. And uh, I made a whole drawing of this and uh, I actually really like it, this drawing and it sort of set the tone for this sketchbook to me. Every time when I didn't really know what materials to use, I would get back to this page and think, oh, I love the looseness and the color of this, the boldness. So um, that was a, a good move. The sketchbook starts uh, on vacation. This was in our vacation home uh, in the evening. And this is outside of the cabin. We were staying in this home and there was a camping site um, next to it, or it was on a camping site. So there was a lot to draw, like small trailers and trucks. And this is also uh, in the evening at night. I was trying out um, a pencil and I didn't like it on this paper. Doing a whole lot of nothing. That's what you do on vacation, right? And I try to play a little bit with the proportions and uh, have some really great fun with crayons, which I think I sort of succeeded. At least I had fun. This was the view sitting uh, outside of our cabin. There was a parking a lot, I don't think. It was a great choice to put so much em emphasis on the cars while there was so much green. But I spent a lot of time doing these uh, little marks for the greens and trying to figure out how to capture all that. There was a big truck parked in the back, so right over here. And of course I had to draw it. I decided to draw it by the end of the day and I still have itching mosquito bites from that and this is weeks ago. <laughs> Sitting on the couch in the evening just drawing what I saw basically and um, when you are in a different home for a while then everything seems new and um, yeah then everything is interesting to draw. It's I mean start drawing and everything becomes interesting. That's my mantra, right? Look at these, this cute camper van. I saw them enter the camping site and they were parking it. I was like, I'm going to draw that van. I have to. And I uh, was drawing it and then it started to rain a little bit. But um, yeah, that was my cue to leave. And uh, this one's cute too. Okay. The good, the bad and the ugly, that's what I'm showing you here. Um, I really hate this drawing because it's overworked. I did not know what I was doing. Uh, it was actually a little bit too dark. It was in the evening. But I was trying techniques that I'm not familiar with. And then you get these kinds of results. I think it's so important to know that a sketchbook is also to learn and that from every drawing you do, you learn, you make mistakes, you know what works and what doesn't work. And then the next drawing, you know that there's things you shouldn't or you should do. And um, that's why I am really painfully looking at this because I just really want to take in and also emphasize to you, ugly is fine too. And maybe you're like, this is not ugly, it's good. Well, I 
see a lot of faults and a lot of things and I remember uh, adding marks and thinking, oh, I'm so overworking this, I'm making mistakes. But there are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents, right? And the great thing is, I got my model there and this was his favorite chair in, uh, in our vacation home, so I could do it again. And look at that. I took another pen, I took another approach, and it worked out. And I could not have done this if I wouldn't have made this. And I did another one, a little bit bolder, with um, a little bit um, a clearer, brighter, I don't know even how to explain, but uh, less filling of the page. So you can really see how I am learning page by page. And here I'm still working with watercolors and trying things out and um, not too happy about the likeness but happy about these happy faces. <laughs> we had some rain too, that was fine. And then we ha had uh, beautiful days as well, sitting outside, reading. I really like this drawing. I like how this is sort of a frame to the rest. When you draw, sometimes you find yourself sitting in the weirdest places. So I wanted to capture um, the, uh, the, the cabin that we were staying in. Uh, from a different place than from the couch, so I just sat in the hallway, which is kind of crazy and weird, but I had a whole lot of new things to draw there. Not a great self-portrait. Look at that. He doesn't look like my husband, but I love that character. So you can really find small things in your sketchbook, even later as well. I'm writing here that I'm too tired to draw, but still I did. We had dinner and we sat on the couch and we were so tired. Another day, another walk, another drawing. This is in Rotterdam, sitting in the grass. Oh yeah, my um, uh, uh, watercolor box broke, so I bought a new one and filled it with new colors, and I actually took one color out. So let's see how that goes. Uh, practicing the foreground and the background in one line and one line. Maybe I cheated here and there, but still. This is from a Draw Tip Tuesday video a collection of stuff that I saw walking from A to B in my neighborhood. A fantastic, fun drawing date I had with my friend Joanna. She selected this picture and we drew from it for a couple of hours. It was really fun. You might remember this one from Draw Tip Tuesday. This was an online drawing session with Emma Carlyle. I learned a lot there. I really played with my materials, uh, taking out all kinds of different materials in one color. That's a fantastic exercise too. I might need to do that at some point for a Drills of Tuesday video as well. And I really like how this turned out. I would never have done this without being on that um, Zoom session because I saw Emma do something similar and I was like, oh wait, you can actually do line combined with these colored patches. And I think that's very effective, a uh, very Ill illustrative way of drawing. This is a collection page of um, half a day, I think with coffee and uh, a beautiful, it was a beautiful day, a lot of outside. 
sitting on the couch using a black colored pencil. This was a drawing session I did online. Oh, there's also, I captured a little feather here. Actually, Marluz de Vries um, captured this feather when she was going through my sketchbook outside in the park. <laughs> Love it, and we kept it inside in here. So this was an uh, online drawing session on Instagram I did with Alvin online. Um, I uh, found this photo of Amsterdam online because he loves Amsterdam. He lives in Malaysia, and we both drew it, and the results were completely different. So much fun. My husband and a friend of his um, on a game night. These are all this, the things that I heard them say, and much more, but these are just a few that I could capture. Again, um, I'm uh, practicing the, um, uh, the technique with one line, where um, I use one color for the foreground and one color for the background. And there's more here. I got better, see? I was not so happy with this because I didn't sit in the right place and um, it's not really clear what this all is and then I didn't have enough space for the background here's way too much detail in the foreground and then I got the hang of it here using those chairs in the foreground and then adding the background and also over here a very clear foreground and then a background that is um, only one line. A one-liner while chatting. It's sort of unfinished, but it's because I was chatting with my friend um, while she was also drawing and uh, leaving her, her page after that. And Well, we were just sitting there and this was like... This is sort of an illustration of... Um, of the conversation we were having. I, I like it, I left it like this. I could have added more detail or color, but I actually really like the one movement of it because it is one line. I started, I think I started here or here and then worked my way that, that way. Another collection drawing uh, that I did during while drinking a cappuccino. This was at a workshop weekend that we did, a few of the participants there. And um, here's another collection drawing, of the workshop. Again, a one-liner. I started at the shoe. This is my dad who was drawing. And then I went around over there and I sort of cheated my way around here. I ran out of time, but I do love this part. I absolutely love it and it really represents my dad. A moment to myself on a terrace where everything is blue. It's the blue tea house in the Vondelpark. Again, a one-liner. I've been obsessing about one-liners lately, as you can tell. And um, this is um, the plant on our balcony. I got this plant for my birthday, which was in June, and it's still blooming. I am so amazed. Anyway, I had to draw it. Uh, while I was drinking my coffee, I was sitting outside, and uh, it was my morning sort of morning um, meditation, basically, my drawing meditation. This was done during a live Draw Tip Tuesday session in Sketchbook School Spark. I do a live session every two weeks for the Spark members. It's really fun. And this was drawn from a, a window swap window, which is online. Another moment to myself, I didn't have that much time and I was a little bit tired, but I needed to just sit down and draw and um, so I did. And I started with these ladies in the front and then I sort of knitted my way around and added some stuff in the background. It's not the greatest drawing I've done, but hey, 
I do remember the moment, which was really nice, and it represents that moment. It was a sunny afternoon, um, I was feeling calm, and I was enjoying my soda. So that's all captured in here. I love what happened here. This is where I started this drawing. I saw those people sitting on the bench and I actually was interested in this building, but I started drawing this and then I just drew my way up here and over there. And then I think I drew the cars, that building, and then I added the background. I was at a party. Oh, first I drew this. I was planning to to use the, uh, this double page to make a drawing that I started on the right hand side. I was waiting for a friend, my friend Marluz, and um, she was a little bit late, but she wasn't that late, so I only could do this. And then I just left it because we were chatting and we were uh, going to draw something else, which I actually drew in a new sketchbook. So I left it like this. And then later that day, I was at the opening of our exhibition at the art studio where I rent my studio space. And um, I am sometimes a little bit of an introvert, especially if there's a lot of people that I don't really know. So I talked to a few people, but at some point I just felt like drawing. So I sat down on one of the benches and um, I sat down next to one of the other uh, people who rents a studio there. So I could just chat a little bit while I was drawing. And that was really fun because I captured, I, I was at the party. I uh, felt like I really participated and I did because I, I uh, was chatting. I, I was saying hello to everyone and I was stopping the drawing and then chatting a little bit and then going back into it again. It felt really safe. On a party, you can feel kind of shy or a little bit mm, not so social or something. And with the sketchbook, I was so very much in my comfort zone. And it's the opening of an exhibition in an art studio. So it's not weird to be sitting and drawing. It was perfect. And I really like how the drawing turned out because I worked longer on it than I usually would on a drawing like this. Um, but Yes, there's this whole thing captured in there of the festivity and the sunny afternoon and um, also my sort of insecurity about being around many people that I don't know. So yeah, I like it. And then in the back, actually, I did um, some drawings of... Um, I attended an online uh, live drawing session and... Uh, those sort of drawings I did in this sketchbook. And then always in the back, I also drew my husband again here. Also the back of the book I always use to test out materials and stuff like that. In case you're curious, this is a Stillman and Burns sketchbook, Epsilon series, which is um, for mixed media, pen and ink, dry media, light wash. It works really well with a lot of different media, absolutely. I am not fond of um, the soft cover because I often use uh, my sketchbook on my lap, but yeah, it's a good one. I can recommend it. Uh, also, just going back once more to the ugly page, during the workshop weekend that I taught a few weekends ago, which you can see those people of here, I drew them somewhere over here. During that weekend uh, workshop, there was one participant who wrote in the beginning of her sketchbook on the first page something that said, if you're not making ugly stuff, you're doing it wrong. And I think that is a really great message to write in the beginning of your sketchbook. A message, a reminder to yourself, you need to overwork stuff, you need to make mistakes, make a mess to learn about your materials and to develop your style and to develop your techniques so that you can actually do another one and another one and then feel more confident about it and end up with a new technique in your arsenal. I hope you enjoyed that. 
I always enjoy looking back at my sketchbooks, especially with a little bit of time between finishing it and then looking back again, because I always discover things again and it gives me ideas. And um, yeah, so I hope this gives you ideas too. Never compare your beginning to someone else's middle and or anywhere else. That's just uh, one message I want to give you. I really hope that um, the sketchbook tour inspires you to keep on going and filling book after book because your sketchbook is your story. And the more you fill, the bigger your story gets. And it's just a lot of value. Plus each page will give you a lot of joy. Now, thank you for watching today's video. I am really doing my best to publish a Draw Tip Tuesday video weekly because I think it's important that they are for free and they are regularly and I want them to be available for everyone. And if you want to help me keep going, that would be awesome. You can visit my Patreon page and back me there. I will add the link below this video and I would really appreciate it if you would visit and consider backing me up so I can keep on making these videos for everyone and for you. Go draw, fill another sketchbook or start one and uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.